This is your boy Red, host of the RH3 show. And I want to get on here real quick and do this response video to my video about, um, you know, the the recent video showing of Creflo Dollar defending Bishop Eddie Long. I'm going to just jump right on into it. I'm not going to go into doing, you know, um, what the video is about, this, that, and the other. If you want to go check below in the information bar, the underneath the bar, and check out that video. Or you can click right here. And, and you know see the video and, and you know know what I said then but what this video I'm going to talk about I'm going to clarify some things um, first off in that video I do not think that Creflo, Creflo Dollar was in no way um, condoning what um, if I'm using the right word Creflo Dollar was actually justifying what um, Eddie did. He just said he has a wreck. And um, he kept using that term wreck, wreck, wreck. But to me, I think Creflo was kind of sugarcoating what um, Eddie was doing and he shouldn't have. He should have just put it out there and said yes. Um, allegedly he's been done. I don't think anything has been you know, Eddie has you know, um, you know confess to it you know he I don't even think well really to be honest with you he haven't even denied it because you know watching that one sermon video he never said that he did do it or didn't do it but what I was talking about I was not defending what Eddie was doing I was actually defending what Creflo said about you know just up and leaving a ministry you know just because that pastors you know have you know what that pastors done I know that he um he stepped out of line, and I know that that I know that Eddie Bishop Eddie Long stepped out of line, and he was way way out of line as a you know spiritual leader. And he's supposed to you know sit that high you know set that high example over you know this mega church that he has, and, you know many churches that he have. But what I was saying and what I was you know defending about what Creflo said. Um, on you know people flocking and leaving the church and one of my commenters said that God will not um, send nobody to this church or this pastor that's wrong God can send somebody there to help this man and to help him overcome you know these demons because whatever he you know what he did was uh, under you know under demonic attack and I'm not going to blame it you know it, you can't blame everything on the devil but um, what what Eddie did was totally, absolutely, positively, without a shadow of a doubt, wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong. And like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, please continue to follow me on Twitter because I went in, you know, depth again. If you follow me on Twitter, I did say that legally he needs to be punished. He needs to do whatever legally. Spiritually, if he asks for forgiveness, then that's it. That's on the spiritual side of things. But on the legal and the natural side of things, he, he needs to pay for what he's done. He really do. And I and sin is sin. There's no if I tell a lie, that equals the same amount that that equals to the same thing that I that he's done. There's no sin bigger than another sin. Sin is sin the way you put it, the way you dress it. It does not matter. If you put it on a dress with a lipstick, it's it's, it's a pretty thing. If if whatever. I'm just saying, sin is sin. So, so please, let's, let's, you know, everybody who's commented on this video, let's not, you know, take away of what has happened. And another, um, another one of my, uh, comment, my subscribers said, uh, if you can go down and look and see, um, Eddie, uh, that she believes that Eddie is full of pride. I do too. I really do. And um, I believe that that he is. I, I seriously do believe that he's lying. I I mean, there's no there's no shadow of a doubt. He skipped over everything that he was supposed to be saying the day after he made that appearance at his church. He he skipped over it all. And and trust me, I believe that he's lying. And I do believe that he did it. Like I said, but I I mean, what I was actually defending 
was, again, shall I say and repeat, what I was defending is what Creflo had said about the people leaving the church. I don't defend, I'm not defending what Eddie did. I'm not defending what he did at all. Because what he did, like I said, was wrong and, and sin is sin. And he, what, he need, what Eddie needs to do, I'm not calling him Bishop Long because he's not my bishop. And, and I think that what he did, you know, he still got the gift, but I mean, whatever. He's not my bishop. He's just Eddie Long. And I'm not disrespecting him because, you know, if he was called by God, then like I said in my other video, you know, bat-mouthing a man or woman of God, that's, that's you know, uh, that's out of the wheel. So I'm not going to bat-mouth him, but I will say this, that what Eddie needs to do, Eddie needs to sit down. He needs to take a break from ministry. He needs to sit down totally. He needs to do another public service announcement. He needs to do another press conference or whatever you want to call it. He needs to do it and say, you know what, I have a problem. I need to sit down because one thing that I also, you know, say no and and can you know realize that this dude have a problem is those pictures that he he's he he has taken. Y'all, please, 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 let's not stir away from you know anything. And those boys need the somebody needs to get in those boys' life, some mentors, and talk to them, comfort them console them, protect them, because what this powerful man of God, this Christian did, was took over, took liberty over, the, and, and y'all, I'm going back to my initial opinion and thoughts of this, of, of Eddie Long, because, like I said, I'm not, I'm not throwing stones at him, and if he asks for forgiveness, and he said, God, forgive me for what I've done, us as the children of God, we're gonna have to respect that, point blank period we got to respect that and we're going to have to you know forgive him and move on but like i said you know this is the law the the law system cannot say well oh he's a pastor he didn't ask god to forgive it's over and done with well i wish it worked like that but it don't work like that he's going to have to pay the price he's going to have to pay the price and you know if if stuff was done on the spiritual system and on you know god system if they if america was done and the law and the government was done by how the way God works, then, you know, it, everybody would be out here doing whatever they want to do, and all thing they got to do is ask God for giving, and they'll be done. But, hey, like I said, spiritual-wise, that, that we, we gonna, we gonna, whether we like it or not, whether the parents like it or not, and I know this, this I know, I know, please know this, that I know this for a fact, that he's going to say, well, how, you can you can't tell me what to forgive, and you can't tell me how to give this man a mess with my son. Yes, he did, but you're going to have to be right with God and to continue to walk in, you know, that walk or whatever. You're going to have to forgive this man and move on. The parents, if I, I'm putting myself in the situation, if I was at that church in Bishop Eddie Long, um, if he did that to my child, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say that on camera. I already told somebody in the text, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do to, you know, because, but I might, um, you know, incriminate myself. But anyway, I don't put it like this. I don't know what I'll do. Y'all, we're going to continue to roll this thing. We're going to continue to roll this thing. Please send me your video responses. I love video responses. Please send them to me and continue to share the previous video because I'm not going to take that video down and I'm not going to take back what I said on that video. But I just needed some clarification on this video so y'all can know where I actually was standing because I really was not defending what Eddie did. I did not was not defending what he did. I was defending what Preflo was saying about, you know, people just up and leaving. You no. Know, yeah. I thank y'all for watching. In the meantime, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and continue to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash official RH3. And also, um, you know, friend me on Facebook. Search and like the RH3 show. I love y'all for real. And, um, you know, just continue to watch my channel. And also know this, that um, y'all opinions are very appreciated and respected. And I thank you for them. No matter what you believe, friends, um, subscribers, family, if y'all know me personally, please just, just, you know, feel free to comment. Feel free to comment. All opinions and comments are accepted. I love y'all.
Cause I know I gotta give it up If anybody wanna come and praise the Lord 